everybody, this is Praxis, and as of this morning, the house is 100% ready to be inspected for the final inspection. I don't have to say except for the railings because all the railings are up. So we just have to get our smoke detector inspection, our plumbing inspection. I have a call in with a plumber asking them, hey, can you please tell me when that inspection is going to happen because they're supposed to set that up. I'm just waiting for the smoke detector guy to come. Uh, that you know They've been aware of us for, I think, over a week at this point, and uh, just waiting for them to call me up and say, hey, I'm going to come by. So uh, that could happen today, you know, several days from now, hopefully not too much longer than that. Um, I was able to finish up the second coat of stain up on the, uh, the floor up there last night. It was kind of a late night, but got it done. Got in this morning. It's kind of walkable with sock feet. I'm not, go, you know, not going around with shoes on my feet on there yet, but uh, uh, I'm trying to warm up the house. Uh, just grabbing you know, wood from that pile over there and just bringing it in a bucket and just keeping this thing burning. If we get it like 80 degrees, 90 degrees in here, I'd be just fine with that. And that will allow the, uh, the floors to dry up all that much firmer, harder, faster, and then we can uh, you know, get our finished coats on there. At this point, I'm thinking about 10 days. We're gonna wait a week uh, to let those things dry, put on a finished coat, wait a day, put on another finished coat, uh, and then wait you know, three days or so, and we're good to go as long as we've gotten all the inspections in the meantime. Um, what I'm working on while I wait for that is other important things. I wanna get the pantry going because if it's 80 or 90 degrees in here, a lot of that heat goes up. We haven't totally finished that venting system up there, and uh, our pantry, all our food, is up on the top floor, which is not a great place for your food, um, one of the, the warmer areas of the house. So I'm, I'm working on getting these pantry shelves in uh, and get that installed in the back room. Uh, and there's a couple benefits. One is that I don't have to uh, have all the food up on you know a warm floor. It can be in the cool area. And also, when I keep bringing stuff, I don't have to walk it all the way up, only to walk it all the way down. So. Starting on these guys, um, I did a lot of thinking about how to build the shelves because uh, in the past I've done shelving and you know there's certain things I want to put on there like you know tubs or jugs of food. Uh, you know you might have seen it on my channel that I, I use actually pet food jugs. They're, they're FDA approved for food. I don't put like wet stuff in them, but like you know dry oats and things like that. Um, and in the past I made shelves where you could fit one and a half of those things in there, which. You can't put half of one in and close the doors, so that essentially means one in. Uh, so while I was designing these shelves, I measured all of the storage containers that I'm going to be using. Uh, they're uh, either 14 inches wide or 16 inches wide, depending on which ones. And I designed the shelves so that they will accommodate things without uh, being not quite big enough and also uh, not so big that there's a bunch of extra space. So uh, I think it's gonna work out a lot better. Uh, the bottom shelf I have on here is uh, 20 inches tall, which will allow me to slide in the big jugs on the bottom. All the shelves are 32 inch uh, openings on them, which lets me do two 16 inch wide tubs into them. Uh, and um, yeah, it, it, this is the third time I've made some shelving and it really pays to kind of think about what you're actually putting on there and design it around what you're gonna be putting there. So I've got one of them measured off with marks and I'm transferring all the marks to all the other ones. This is HD Prime Lumber made by Irving and you can tell it's prime because it's all full of like check marks and like rough surface and everything and half of them aren't even exactly eight feet. They're like less than eight feet, slightly. <laughs> so I don't know, what's subprime if this stuff is prime? Uh, but I mean, it's adequate enough for my purposes. And um, this is a nice project to work on right now with like socks on my feet, warming my feet in front of the fire. It's a far cry from last year when we were like freezing our fingers off, you know, working in the snow trying to get ready for the winter. That's it. Thanks for watching.